Hello, we're back again. Louisiana Beer Reviews presents Lagunita Sucks. Socks. And the reason why this sucks is because this was a beer recipe that they messed up. Uh, I believe it was brown sugar, and then they put it out anyway, and they called it something else. Brown sugar substitute? Yeah, something like that. And then they changed it to socks, and they made a big old, like, marketing thing about why they call it socks. And basically, it's, uh, to me, it's like a less sweeter version of, of the brown sugar socks. I mean, the br brown sugar. Sorry. Uh, okay. Well, a joyously dry hopped IPA of the times. And it's from Lagunitas. And if you could find their dates, you are Good a lucky luck. person. Yeah. Oh, well, look. Oh, well, what do you know? I can almost make it out. I believe it's like six or seven weeks old. It says number 28802. What does that mean? I have no idea. The, the 288th day of 2020? Are we even at the 288th day? I don't think we are. It's 365 days a year. We're at the last, we're not even in November yet. I think it's 31 or 32 days. No, 60. Probably not. Maybe. Well, if. Well, 365 minus. Oh, right. yeah, that's right. Sorry. Sorry, Charlie. 365 minus 62 would be just about 300. Yeah, well, we could. All right. Sorry about that. All right, now. Oh, look who got all the beer, and look who didn't. Happens like that sometimes. You ever feel like you've been cheated? Okay. So, the appearance is, to me, kind of like a light orange to dark golden amberish yeah orange color. gold yeah like an orange gold slightly amber color <sighs> and it smells like hop resin ooh and you get smell kind of like almost like a orange citrus base in it and it's so, got no oranges it's just water barley malt hops and yeast but it's all those west coast hops that gives it that oily yeah and some of kind them kind of have, pine salt yeah some of them have that that tropicalness to them. But let's go ahead and make an observation about, about the beer appearance itself. Let's just note for everyone else to see. You can see through it. It's clear. As yeah, beer should be. It's not hazy. Right. It's not hazy. It's not full of cake batter or whatever else. Well, we better avoid that whatever topic. Whatever else. We better avoid that me. controversial topic. All right. So we're going to go ahead and smells good. I mean, it smells like a West Coast IP. I've had yep. Lagunita sucks before. It did not suck. Did not. So let's go ahead and taste this. To use a rough, to use rough language, but that's California cool. You know how they talk, how they speak, how they enunciate. All right. Wow. <laughs> to me, to me, I went back to 2010. <laughs> All right. This is like, this is just a classic jump from the past of an old maybe an older IPA recipe before they started screwing them all up and making them all New England style this is awesome you're gonna make a lot of viewers this angry because really a lot of viewers great. love it New England style hey to each their own uh, this is a really great beer I would put this up to the standard of the German beers that are coming in and this is just it's just really fantastic it's now, oily now somebody piney did, yeah. somebody what so somebody did buy Lionitas right was it the uh, Heineken? Yeah, what happened? Well, Heineken was in a partnership with them, and then they decided, hey, we'll just buy the whole company. Yeah. And so they did. <laughs> well, they're smart. It's, it's, a, it's a really good brand. They'd be even smarter to just let the light when these people run it. Oh, yeah, they do. And it's kind of like Paul Honor. Heineken has an investment in Paul Honor. Oh, wow. It's probably why I started getting them all of a sudden. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. All right, Heineken. That's a family-owned company, by the way. Y'all are buying everybody out. <laughs> hey, you're doing a good job <laughs> at sending the beers out. We're enjoying it. Um, it's real good. It's it's almost kind of like a there's there's an aftertaste of kind of like a butterscotch, 
not flavor, but feel in the mouth as it's going down. What a scotch! It's kind of it's like it's kind of creamy on the on the tail end, and it's just also got this this kind of a, a almost like a soda cracker type biscuit mix into it. I go along with all of that. See, I don't add things if he's saying what I agree with, because then it's redundant. It's almost like when you get some good grits because you added enough butter and cheese to them, and it gets that creamy kind of slickness going on. Yeah, but let's it. remember now, grits are corn. This is no corn. <laughs> right. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's kind of like like flavor. that. Like that, yeah. So, I don't know. What would you score this one? <clears throat> Well, yeah, it's easy to drink that minuscule mm. amount. I um, do you know what the ABV is on this? About eight, I think. You think it's that high? Something like that. I didn't see I'll it. I'll put the notes below on, on the on the bottle. Oh wait, there it is. No, it says we suck. Let's see. Uh, These have it hidden somewhere on the label, and I thought it was right there where it says we suck. Yeah, it's right here. Eight percent alcohol. Eight <laughs> percent. If I tell you the moon's made out of cheese, brain crackers. Anyway, um, eight percent. I figured this was like maybe six point seven. Where am I? Where? Am I? Who am I talking to? All right, um, eight percent, and we just getting started. Anyway, um. Oh, it's a great beer, but I always liked everything Lagunitas did. And you know what the, my favorite one is? All those? The hop stupid. Ooh, that's a good one. And I love hop the stupid. and I love the Maxim, Maximus. That's we're still getting big with those. I like getting big. Um, what's that other one I'm thinking of? The Maximus, the hop stupid. Um, the Waldo's is very good. Waldo's. And then it's a regular IPA. Oh, you can get that at Walmart now. And that's a great beer. You never get bored with uh, Lagunitas IPA. Oh, no. I don't. No, no, no. This, it's just, they, they're just one of those companies, much less, much like the Stone Company, that just make makes quality beers. I prefer Lagunitas, honestly. I, and I, I don't want the Stone too. people to be angry. But, um... I like both. I find that the stone beer sort of kind of tastes all the same, but Lagunitas doesn't. They're kind of like a little mm. differentiated. Mm. And um, I, I find that just the opposite. But go ahead. And here's another thing. I'm really disgusted that we can't get some of the good beers we used to get six years ago, like Southern Tier, yeah. 2X IPA. Remember that one? Yeah. And we used to get the Victory Hop Devil. Remember yeah. that? And yeah. we got the Shipyard Monkey Fist, a great IPA. What is going on? Why have we not gotten these good IPAs for six years in Louisiana? And then I got to drink something that tastes like breakfast cereal where the milk is coagulated with the cereal. I don't like it. I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy about those types of beers either. I don't really like those things. It, it, they're, they're marketed, forwarded, and sent out through social media groups to, oh, you got to taste this. You got to run it down so everybody goes and gets it. And they put, they put it in these cartoon labels on these cans. And it's usually pint cans. And you only get four. Four, not six. This ain't, this ain't the old days. Right. And then it's usually $13 or $14. And then you taste and it and you're you, like... Yeah. <coughs> or if you pour one. I had one. It was a collaboration local beer, which was a black beer. And oh. I put it in, in, a, in, a, in a can. And I was tasting it. I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And it was like kind of a chalky feel. So I said, well, I'll just go ahead and drink it another time. So I put some of that shrink wrap on it, stuck it in the fridge, and I left it in a glass that's very similar to this. After about a week, I'd forgotten about it. And then all it was all black up in here. And then, oh, lo and behold, right here, it was all chalk. It just kind of filled. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's separated. And it was just like... I don't know what it was. That's I why you're not, out. That's why you're not supposed out. to cover I was like, oh, what is this? What is this? This is not beer. Any other beer you put in a fridge, it, it would go flat, but it would look the same. But it wouldn't separate. But that's why you're not supposed to cover your beers with cellophane and leave them in the fridge for a week. All right. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Touche. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was the shrink wrap. I'm no, sorry. no, no. I mean, I, I, know what you, I know where you're going. It wouldn't happen to regular beers, right? 
just no. these these strange things that we've been dealing with for five we're years. We're told is beer. <clears throat> we're like, oh, this is beer. Well, let's let's cool it on that rant because we could go on for an hour. Believe me, we do Several. go on for we, hours. We, we, on could, the we could have we could have discussions. We we could have we could have a committee come in. It would be like a conference, right? All right. And anyway, talk about how, how we're not happy about these things that you sell us for a whole lot of money. Good night. Sometimes you got to take a mortgage out on the home to get these things. Well, it's not that extreme, but it's figuratively that way. All right. So anyway, laissez les bon temps relay. This is what we love, but that's us. You might say, who cares? Go. We're old school. Go we away. Like old school Go beer. away. Keep on burning I want out, my guys. cereal gruel. We love it. We love it. And we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. And stop putting pancake batter oh, no. in beer. Uh, uh, stop. Kill. Kill. <laughs>